Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Crafters TV. Indeed, if you've just joined us for the first time this evening, hello, just gone six o'clock here in the UK uh, and we are ready for another one of our live shows as part of New Year, New Craft. If you have just joined us all this week, we are basically dedicating the shows to, well, different crafty disciplines each and every day. So yesterday we focused a lot on die cutting. Today we're gonna be focusing on uh, coloring. If you've missed the previous two shows, you can always go back and watch those. Uh, later on in the week um, things like soft craft we're going to be focusing on card making as well so lots to come over the course of this week I think it's all about um, you know if you're new to craft helping to ease you in perhaps to a new hobby a particular style of crafting giving you all of the ideas hints and tips and answering all those questions that you might have and if perhaps you are someone who's been crafting for a while it might well be a great week to kind of refresh your memory on certain aspects or indeed get you into a particular style of crafting that you don't do a lot of so lots of reasons to stay with us and watch as i say today we have been concentrating on coloring as part of what we're doing for New Year New Craft as well, uh, we have got a sale which is sort of running concurrently with everything we're doing here on air. So yesterday, as it was die cutting day, we had 23% off selected die cutting uh, items and dies on the website. That is still live for you. Some of those deals are still there. And today, because we're talking about colouring, we have added another little section to the website where you're going to get up to 23% off a whole host of items when it comes to your colouring. Why 23? I hear you cry. Well. What's the year? 2023. Took me a few moments to figure that one out as well, but that's the reason why. And make sure you do keep checking back each and every day where we're concentrating on different parts of um, craft you will find uh, extra layers added to that page on the website. It's on the home page. If you go to the Crafters Companion website, you click on Debbie Fisher. Never thought I'd say that phrase. You click on her and then all of the boxes will come up for you and you can get shopping alongside everything that we've got on the shows today. Now, before we crack on into it, let me welcome the lovely lady who is the other side of the studio, a lady I feel I don't get to work with uh, as often as I should, because we always have a laugh, we always have a ball uh, whenever we're together. Uh, and she's here with me for this next couple of hours. It is the wonderful Leanne. How are you? Oh, Ben, thank you so much. We don't get to work together as much as I'd like. No. Um, we should definitely have more of that. We should, well, let's speak to some people, Ben, and make yeah. it happen. Absolutely. Like we're going to make the awards happen, oh. let's make that happen. By the way, yeah. off the chart, the amount of comments that came really? through, people saying they want that to happen. So we've got to make that a thing now. Okay, we're definitely going to make it a thing. I have already spoken to Powers, shall we say. Have you? And it wasn't a no. Really? Yeah, yeah. So... I think we can make it happen, Ben. I think we can. Get your Academy of Colour because you don't want to miss out on the awards ceremonies and no cheating. <laughs> Not just number six with the badge and the certificate. You need to get them. Um, but we're gonna, I think we're going to be able to make it happen, Ben. I'm excited. I, I mean, I am absolutely over the moon for that. By the way, we're doing, well, I say we're doing, we're hoping to do an awards ceremony for everybody who graduates from the Academy of Colour later on this year. Um, and we've been talking about the Academy of Colour, of course, because we've got the brand new box, the cute characters. Now, earlier on, we were concentrating a lot more on kind of uh, water colouring. During this show, we're going to be concentrating more on the sort of um, alcohol markers, so alcohol colouring, all aspects of that. This is the brand new box launched today, officially live. Loads of you have already got your hands on it. Um, if you want to pick this one up, it is still available as an individual item. Uh, you're getting that saving of £14.88 or $20.48. Platinum price is £27.19 or $35.96. So it's the next box, the fourth box long on your Academy of Colour. So if you're already on that journey, the natural progression, of course, now is to pick up your cute characters box because it's the next step on that journey. Also worth bearing in mind as well, and I know we mentioned this on the earlier show, obviously there's all of the uh, digital content for you so you can learn along with Leanne. The content for this is uh, going to be happening from the 25th of January. So it's the first time it's happened, obviously, with Christmas going on and very busy times here um, we're going to be filming that um, on the 25th so that's when all of the content for the cute characters will be live however if you decide that um, you want to pick up the cute characters with some um, added brucey bonuses in as well we do have the earlier show stopper for you uh, which contains loads of other goodies too which i know is still uh, live and available for you on the website uh, basically what you're going to get is your uh, cute characters academy of color and then loads of our premium spectrum noir 
products as well. So you're going to get the watercolour discovery kit. That's included within the bundle. You're getting our aqua pens in the primary colour. So you're getting 12 of those included also alongside that. 15 sheets of your watercolour card and a set of our um, glitter brush pens as well in the soft pastel. All of the value of that totals uh, 52 pounds or 77 dollars however it works out if you buy the bundle you're actually only paying just over 20 pounds or 20 dollars for all of the extras so that's why a lot of people uh, have gone for that bundle and wow there you go 60 percent of the stock of that has gone at 44 pounds platinum or 52 dollars if you're shopping in the us and you're a platinum member um, once that has gone that's gone it won't mean that the box is sold out it just means that we've packed together uh, just a limited amount of the showstopper uh, and once that has gone that has gone um, now, another showstopper on this particular show, which uh, whilst we delve into this, we'll also be looking at this as well. This is your alcohol colouring showstopper. Now, again, this is a tremendous buy, really, when you consider what you're going to be getting in here uh, are your 36 um, illustrator markers. So they're included alongside uh, 12 of our um, classics. You're also going to get six of the tri-blends uh, in the exotic blends, and we're going to give you a pack of our Nina cardstock included too. Now, the deal is amazing here because you're actually getting a discount off the um, illustrators for start, and then it basically works out that everything else you're getting in the bundle, you're only paying £13 or $17 for it. Um, which really quite is, is incredible, really, when you consider you're getting all of this for an extra 13 or 17. Or if you're platinum, it is like you get everything for free. 52 pounds or $80. So again, a really great way to kind of get started on your alcohol coloring journey, or indeed, again, if you need to stock up on um, some of your colors when it comes to uh, your illustrators, your classics, your tri-blends, this is a great way to be able to do it. Lots of people jumping in and grabbing this bundle today, a 54 piece set for just 52 pounds or $80. And of course, we've got the earlier showstopper as well. We'll be delving into both over the course of the show. And I think it's also um, good to point out that we are live and interactive as always. So if you've got any comments you want to throw our way, please do. If you have any questions you want to ask, do that too. And if you have any testimonials, anything you want to say about any of the products that you absolutely love, then get in touch. We've got Superstar Susie on the socials tonight uh, and she will feed all of the comments our way. I'll say a few quick hellos. Uh, Sam McDonald is with us. Hello, Sam, from just up the road in Darlow. Uh, it's cold and wet in Darlow. It's cold and wet here as well. I suppose you're only about six miles away, so it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, Lisa's in from a snowy Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> Johnny's just said Newton Acre has got its own eco climate. Uh, I wish it was a warmer eco climate. Uh, Jennifer joins us uh, saying afternoon from South Carolina. Mary Beth is in from Minnesota. Hi to Lorna Nickel in Hereford. It's windy in Hereford. Um, but Hereford. Hurricanes hardly ever happen. What? What? In Hereford, is that not on? You know, um, what's the what's the what's the movie? My Fair Lady. Oh, well, I was going to say Shirley the, Valentine. Where, where the the professor teaches? Oh, Professor um, Thingy Higgins. Higgins teaches. Uh, what's the uh, actress's name? No, no not My Julie Fair Lady. Andrews. Julie Andrews is in Shirley Valentine. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. No, no, no. Julie Andrews isn't. What am I talking about? I'm getting really lost. Sorry. The no, dark-haired not... one from. Uh, they'll tell us in the comments. Yeah. Who is the actress who has to learn to speak properly in My Fair Lady? I'm trying to think of the. Is it Audrey Hepburn? I think it's Audrey Hepburn. Oh, okay. Audrey Hepburn, and he does the thing. In Hereford, hurricanes hardly ever happen because yet because she's called blimey governor and she's not and she's not pronouncing that H's, so it's happen. H happen is happen for her. Ah. And so he teaches her to talk, and he says, "I'm sure it's in Hereford. Hurricanes hardly ever happen." So she pronounces the H. Ah, is that... I, I, I have and seen... And the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. And is that also the water in Majorca... Yes. ...don't taste like water? Yes. That, yeah. That's exactly... Yeah, so that was just a fun fact. I don't know why that popped into my head. Cos you said Hereford. It was, and I like that, actually. Her, her, I think that, that there is how this two hours is going to go, Ben. I do. And I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> what was it again? Hurricanes hardly happen in Hereford. In, Her oh, in, in Hereford, Hereford, hurricanes hardly oh, ever happen. happen. I think that's what it is. Um, I enjoyed that. Uh, hi to Thank you. <laughs> hi to Shadaya, who's in, saying hello, my Lord Ben, and the Queen of Spectrum Noir, Leanne. 
Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Um, Lillian joins us. Hello, Lillian Kwok and Jill from North Yorkshire and Carolyn from Florida. Um, she says, I won't tell you that it's warm and sunny. Can we come Rude. over? Uh, Patty joins us from California. Linda is in from Wisconsin. Hi to you, um, Janine from Pennsylvania. Deborah from Lancashire. It's windy in Lancashire. Uh, Mary Pat's in from Montana. And Violet says hi from North Carolina. Right. Let's get going. Send in your comments. Send in your questions. Let's have a nice, fun, interactive um, final show of yes. the day. We're going to delve into the cute characters. Now, earlier we looked at the watercolour aspects of this, didn't we? And I know we're going to be focusing more on the alcohol pens. Are, are we still just going to have a quick look at everything in the box? We are, that? yes. We're going to have a look at everything in the Academy of Colour box, just so that we get a little refresh of what's in there, so yeah. you know what to come. So actually, I don't think I showed you the fabulous box last oh, time. No. So the box, I just showed you the content. The box itself is absolutely beautiful. The quality is exceptional. You can see it tells you that your colouring journey continues on there. It's like Star Wars, isn't it? It's like... Uh, I was going to say Masters of the Universe. It's not like the galaxy, the yeah. galaxy thing, isn't it? Um, and, the, oh, uh, thank you, George. Yeah. A long time ago in a galaxy yeah. far, far away. And the music starts. Spectrum Noir was... No, anyway. So um, <laughs> it's got a fantastic magnetic closure as well. And it, yeah. can you listen? Oh. It's so satisfying, that little... I'll, I'll do it again. If quality has oh, a noise, that's it. That's the noise of quality, absolutely. Mm. And when you open that up, you've got your new markers in there that are coming in this box. So these are colours that have not appeared in any of the previous boxes and are specific to doing the cute characters, but will work alongside yep. the colours from the previous boxes. <clears throat> so you've got your six alcohol and your three aqua. So that means 12 colours of alcohol, six colours of aqua, and that lovely velvet lined tray. You also get, Ben, this little card which comes stuck to your pens. Uh -huh. Take that off because on the back of there gives you all of the information on how to access your education. Keep that. You've got little sticky dots on there. Keep that by sticking it to the lid of your box. Okay. And then it's always there when you need to remind yourself. Don't put it in the bin. It's really important. So many of you say, oh, I've forgotten the link and I can't find my card. Stick it on the roof of your box and then you can always go back to Top it. Top tip. You can pick up that velvet tray, which has all of your markers in. And then underneath there, you've got your stamps. You've got the... Um, panel. Panel, thank you, Ben. The panel that goes into your binder to stick them onto. And then you've got your watercolour and alcohol marker card in there nice. to be able to get the best results so all of that's in the box that's what you're getting and that's a full eight by eight sheet with three six nine st ten stamps on there mm -hmm. so you've got your one two three four five seven characters and then some accessory sentiments in there as well and they've all been designed to specifically let you practice certain Techniques with regard to colour and cute characters have been curated especially for that. So your pens fit in the top there and then your box gets tidied away nicely. Now, just to show you those contents in a little more detail, you've got your pens, which you can see there. These are the colours of those markers. So we've got some really lovely soft pastels and then we've got some deep tones for some light and shade. Colours have all been thought through specifically for the characters you're working them with. There was a Ferrari... Oh. There was a Ferrari. Is a it Ferrari? A Ferrari, Ben, where everybody thought they'd been given an empty pen. Oh, wait, what? I know, like, I you know. You wouldn't do that, would you? No, I would never do that, ever. Now, it is very subtle, very, very subtle, but I've done that on purpose, and there are reasons for that, and that will all become clear for you in the education. What's it called? Can, blue what? It's, it's like a pale, very oh, blue. pale blue. Porcelain. You can see it's different to the white there. Yeah. It's called blue porcelain. And because it's TBO5, that means it's half the intensity of the first pen right. in the collection. So it's meant to be very pale. Because the only way you can get true 3D, Ben, is from very pale to very dark. And that's when things really pop off the page. Mm. So it's almost a tinted blender pen that I've put in there for you. And there's a reason for that. So... Tune into the education, and by the way, we have set the date for that. If you're in anticipation, the education for this box will be on the 25th of 
January. Yes. Um, so usually, if you're buying in the UK, you, you're watching it already. We've already recorded it for our US customers, and you're catching up by the time you get this box. Um, you're going to be able to join in live with Amazing. this one, which is, in, which is exciting, isn't it? Um, so if you're getting it now tonight, then you're going to be able to watch that, and the little card at the top of your box will take you to the link to be able to watch that education live with us on the 25th of January. So I look forward to seeing you there. You get your pens, you get your stamps, and then when we colour in our stamps, you can see this is what they're going to look like. And these are the techniques that you're going to learn, Ben, mm. during that um, two-hour session that we'll do on cute characters. And you've got your alcohol marker and your watercolour card. Perfect. Now, that's what you get in the box, Ben, but you get a whole lot more than that. And the whole lot more than that is the education piece. So with your box not charged for, not calculated into the value, is a two-hour session for every box. And we're going to do that on the 25th. As part of that, what I always do is make sure that you have not just that recorded tutorial from me teaching you those techniques, but the written resources to go back to and refer to whenever you want to. You can print them out and keep them in your binder, save them into a folder. Just know that they're always in that folder in the Facebook group, so you can go and get them when you want them. Choice is yours, but they're there. And this is what I'm referring to when I say the written uh, the written education pieces. This is for alcohol marker. So for each one of the characters, you will get the character coloured and the steps for that colour and broken down mm -hmm. so you can see how to do it. And the instruction underneath for how that has been built up and the exact pen colours that have been used. And you'll get it for all hmm. of the characters in the box so that you can learn how to achieve this texture and how it's happened along with the video tutorial but you'll have the written uh, pieces also kept there for you so you can refer back to them we always make sure that they're available for you so they're all the alcohol ones you've just seen there yeah but we also have them for watercolor which we were looking at in the earlier show. So you'll get for every character a full alcohol guide and a full watercolour guide based on specific techniques that you're going to learn. And alongside that, you'll get all of my handwritten notes I as well. I love that so much. Yeah, we'll just, pho just photograph my handwritten notes and pop them in there so you can see what I've said to myself to remember. You've got the benefit of referring back to that as well. Um, it's not half bad, is it, what you get in the box, really, for that price? And when you consider that you've got all of the um, tutorials as well, and you, I mean, you just can't put a price on that, really, can you? Um, you know, the amount of tutorial that you'll have by the end of your journey as well. What do you say, about 18 hours worth of um, tutorial? And again, put that into perspective. When you think about the value for money that you're getting, 18 hours worth of tutorial, say if you were going to go out and take a class, like an evening class or pay for lessons, I mean... I mean, think about how much potentially that could cost. So it really is um, a super, super uh, scheme and just to have everything that you need and all of the tuition is brilliant. Um, if you need to pick this one up, if you haven't yet got it, there it is individually, £27.19 uh, or $35.96. So everyone saves $14.88 today or $20.48. However, if you want to go uh, the way most people have gone today, you get the show shopper, uh, we're over 60% of the stock of this gone now. I mean, value for money, it's amazing. If you think platinum, what you're spending, just an extra £17 to get everything else here you get your uh, brand new academy of color with everything that leanne's just shown you and then we give you um, all of these other premium products thrown in as well um more watercolor items and um, pens that we think will work perfectly with your um, academy of color so you've got your aqua pens in here you've got a one of our discovery kits in the watercolor some of our uh, glitter brush pens in there too and some watercolor cardstock basically equates to the fact that you're paying an extra about about 20 pounds 20 dollars for £52 or $77 worth of product. Insane value for money, really. Uh, and that is definitely the best way to go at £44 platinum or $52. But like we said, we know that people work on different budgets. If uh, money's a little bit tight and you just want to go for the uh, the box on its own, absolutely you can do that. It's your prerogative. Um, few quick hellos and then we'll crack on into it. Questions coming in, which we love. We'll tackle those through the show. Uh, Miriam joins us from South Carolina and Terry's in from Ohio. Uh, Barbara's in from Indiana. Bonita is in from Tennessee. Kim says, oh, in Hartford, Hereford and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. That's right. Hereford in Hampshire. I knew Hereford was in there somewhere. Oh, so that's the full... That's the full thing. That's what uh, Professor Higgins teaches my fair lady whose name I Eliza Doolittle. Eliza Doolittle. Do you know, I was thinking Dr Doolittle, but he speaks to the animals. <laughs> and that wasn't me. That wasn't, that wasn't working in my head. That, so Professor Higgins teaches Eliza Doolittle 
that's the full thing. Was he in, in Hartford, Hereford, Hereford and, and Hampshire. Hampshire? Hurricanes hardly ever happen. If I could talk to the animals. That's that a was different Dr. Movie. Doolittle, wasn't it? Yeah. Just that's I was thinking. Dick, Do I like Dr. Doolittle. Do 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 yeah. I like the remake with Eddie I Murphy. Like the, I like, yes, I like the original. Uh, Eleanor Murphy. I think it's the same Murphy. actor. Huh? I think it's the same actor. What? Dr. Doolittle and. Oh, and. Um, My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. Can't remember his name. Uh, Rex Harrison. Thank you. I'm older than I look. <laughs> uh, hi everyone, bone chillingly cold here in Shrub Oak, New York. I've been doing the Academy of Colour since it first started, says Eleanor Murphy, and I've learned so much uh, from this. Thank you, Leanne. Uh, and Nancy says, uh, just Thank a you. quick question. Hello from sunny Florida. Hello. Can you tell me which Academy of Colour kits are left? So I've ordered this today, but I want to make sure that I've got all so far from Crafter's Companion. So do you mean what's left as in what's to come? Or do you mean what's left as in what other ones do we have available in stock? I mean, we can tell what's to come, can't we? We can. There's two more boxes to come after this one. Um, and they're both focused on pencils. The first one is focused on watercolour pencils. That's number five box. And number six box will be focused on wax pencils. Yes. Uh, and then previous to this box, we've had, of course, the flora and fauna, haven't we? Yes. Feathers and fur. Yes. Portraits. Portraits and flora and fauna. Yep. And um, the original. And... And the original. And the original. Yeah. Yes, the that's original it. one. That's yeah. it. That's it. You're so quite right. Check those, search for those on the website, and then that's your full house there, basically. Uh, hi to Jill, who says, once Leanne starts colouring, I will be going silent, just saying. Uh, Linda says, I just bought the other two boxes yesterday. Now I've got this one. I have a lot of pens, so now I will learn how to use them. And hi to Jessica, who says, I've got a few minutes to check in. My daughter loves the Academy of Colour. She loves how colouring has become easier with the instructional videos. What a great product. Keep the comments coming through um, and keep the questions coming and we'll ask those uh, to Leanne as we get colouring. But I'm going to hand over now to the lovely Leanne who's going to step you through uh, the alcohol markers in the box. Yes, we're going to have a look at how to colour um, the little fairy in here, which we now know is based on my granddaughter Ada. Cute. So we're going to colour in Ada with alcohol markers. Yes. So um, what I'm doing is referring to the instructions that I've done for you because I can't always remember every colour I've no. used off the top of my head so actually it's just an excellent resource um, if that's what you want to use it for to remind yourself of the colours so you can choose to use that or not it's entirely up to you so I'm going to take the markers which are appropriate for skin tones um, and there's some of those in the portraits box and yep. some in the cute characters box that you're actually getting now so I'm just going to pick those out and then start laying down the colour so for the skin I'm going to start with FS6 first now these markers have a beautiful superior brush tip mm -hmm. so they're all brush tip markers in the alcohol box and the colours in each marker have been curated perfectly for you so that you can easily pick up the pen and put those colours together so I've made sure that I've picked all of the good colours that are going to make it very easy for you into that box um, and what I'll have done in the portrait session and also in the uh, original box yeah. is teach you about light and shade and where you would put things to make it darker and make it lighter yes. we will recover that again in the cute characters lesson when we do this again but what I'm doing is I'm putting in my marker where there would be shade so where it's darker and I'm preserving my highlight if you've been following me on the journey you'll understand what that means mm -hmm. just means leave some spaces white yeah uh, because you can fill them in later alcohol coloring you need to have a marked difference between the dark areas and the light areas to get that 3d look and feel so that's what that means so what i've done there is just map out where the color is going to go and what i've done is keep the front of the face white because that's the furthest part forward that's the lightest part of your face if the light's shining down the tops of her arms the tops of her hands and the fronts of her legs are going to be lighter yeah. than the backs of her legs and the backs of her arms so that's why i've mapped the color in that way i then take a darker color and then really put in the shade and I just go over the top of where I've put that because wet ink blends so much more easily than dry card and so while we're covering over most of the ink that we originally put down what that does is make it easier for you to blend this colour out when you bring the lighter colour in so we just map out where the shade is and actually I'm going to have a little bit of shade on her nose there just to make that 3D yeah. and then what you do is take the lighter colour and you blend that dark shade that you've put out by 
going to the end of it and dragging it into your preserved highlight. And what that does is blend that out into a beautiful huh. contoured little 3D face. And preserving your highlight uh, means that, that you've been able to do that and do mm. it very quickly. So that's what you'll learn. Now I've done that in a matter of moments, maybe a minute. Yeah. You're going to be able to do exactly the same because there is no magic trick to this, Ben. It's just understanding how the markers work, where to put the colour, where to leave your preserved highlight, how to blend the couple of colours together, where to make it a little bit dark, where to make it a little bit lighter. None of that is particularly mysterious and it's certainly not technique driven and once you understand that you're going to be able to get the same results I'm getting here because you're going to be using the exact same stamp the exact same marker the exact same colors you're going to be able to on the exact same card and you're going to be able to lay that color down exactly as I do in the education and get the exact same result and that's the powerful piece with Academy of Colour yeah I'm not showing you how to colour and then expect you to go and find three random things in your craft room with some pens you might have had for five years and get a similar result because that's where I think sometimes you can get frustrated if it doesn't look exactly as we've done on the TV. With Academy of Colour, the joy of it is when you get the box home, you're using the exact same pens I'm using in the exact same colours with the exact stamp on the exact card and you can replicate that exactly as I've done it and that's what helps you learn and get those same results because everything matches in. I think that's the real mm. key to it, Ben. Yeah, it's really interesting as well to watch. I don't know if anyone else thinks this. So obviously I've started doing a little bit of colouring off the back of um, doing some colouring with the tri blends with Cray before Christmas. And so you have in your mind the way that you achieve the three uh, colour blend it's interesting watching you do it with like a two pen blend. Yes. But it's, it's, it's still the same sort of process that you go through with it, even though it's yes. just two colours. Absolutely it is. Mm. And actually sometimes two colours in a smaller area works better than three. Yeah. And it's the principle rather than being too prescriptive with it. Yeah. And we'll, we'll cover all of that in the education. The most important thing is um, preserving some highlight, leaving some white area yeah. that you fill in last and having a dark having a difference between dark and light. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing with alcohol colouring. And once you've got that, um, the rest of it just falls into place very, very easily. Um, just whilst I'm watching your colour, do you want a few mm. questions? Yeah, of course. Dana would like to know, she says, Leanne, could you talk to me about how you organise all your markers? Do you do it by colour? Or type of pen? How do you how do you go by it? Personally? Okay, so at home I have my each marker organised separately. Mm -hmm. So classics are together, illustrators are together, duo are together, aqua are together. And I order them by colour family. Right. So all of the DTs, all of the um, oh, DRs will be together, all of the CTs are together, all of the um, or ours, every single one is together and in numerical order. So if it's the dark reds, for example, there are seven dark reds in the collection. So I have all of the DRs together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in that order. So I have them in their colour families, but I have them by pen type. Yeah. So classiques together, illustrates together, tri-blends together, uh, duos together, aquas together, but in their colour families. Very organised. Yes. I find it easier to find the pen I want that way. Yeah. Because then I'm not rummaging through, when did I get them, what box did they come in? You know, because the, the, at the end of the day, these markers are developed to be in our colour family. So regardless of how you buy them in the pieces, in the piecemeal as you jigsaw it together, keeping them organised in the family will help you greatly. Um, hi to Debbie, who says Leanne is the best teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Suzanne West says, good morning from Las Vegas. I've got all of the Academy of Colours, except for the last two pencil ones, where well, you won't have those because it's not We haven't released launched yet. them yet, yeah. yeah. It'd be good if you did have them, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? Um, I just need to sit I don't down. think even we've got them in the office yet, Ben. Have we not? <laughs> no. Well, it would be a shock then. It would. If you did have them. <laughs> be like, why have you got them? We haven't got them. <laughs> uh, I just need to sit down and start working on them, says Susan. I would say, you know, leave yourself a bit of time when you've maybe got like a free weekend or a little day off yeah. here and there. There's no rush with it, is there? You can do it no. in your own time. Yeah, absolutely. At your own pace. Um, and Jill wants to know, and I guess, well, well, uh, we'll ask you. She wants to know, will the pencils be the same as in the tins? Will the pencils be the oh, same? Oh, okay. Are we allowed They're to talk new about pencils. That? I'll talk to you about it. I mean, I don't know if I should, but I will. I'm here. Why not? There's only me and you here. You're not going to tell anybody. Exactly. Are you? Anyone else. Um, so the pencils will be in the same concept as the markers, duo. Right. So you will have two colours in a pencil. 
Oh. And I've curated them so that you've got the two colours that will blend together. So the dark and the light. So you can soften out the blend between the two and then mix colours together. Um, the colours are uh, similar to the ones that are already in the premium range of uh, wax pencils and aqua pencils. But you've got two colours in a pencil. Wow. There you go. Breaking news. <laughs> well, what it's meant is I can cram more colours in the box for you, Ben. Oh, exactly right, yeah. You know, so for what you're paying for, instead of just having X number of pencils, you've got X number of colours, which opens up loads more techniques for you. So I've just tried to cram the value in the box for you. And when's the next set launching? Um, that's a, I can't <laughs> remember to get it all off the top of my now. head. Yes. So if this one was January... Yeah. It'll be... Ma March. March. And then May, and then a summer award ceremony. <laughs> did you genuinely speak to somebody? I genuinely oh, did. Oh, amazing. This is a true story. Oh. No, no, I realise then, I'm not saying that Jan did make it up, but I, I'm actually very excited about this, Johnny, as I said to you, and I, we definitely want this to go yeah. ahead, as you guys do too. We had, like, big red carpet and the, you know, uh, like, bouncers at the door, you know. What? What? <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to have it all, all done up in here and trophies and, you know... Um, disco ball. A, a what? Disco ball. Oh, yeah. Disco ball. Yeah, all of that. It's going to be... It's going to be awesome. Um, brass band. A brass band? Yeah. <laughs> Music. All I've got in my head now, you said brass band. What, Johnny, what tune have I got in my head? No. <laughs> Johnny Briggs. Oh, I love Johnny Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could ask my son, Johnny, don't you play an instrument? Johnny, Johnny plays the trumpet. Jo we'll get Johnny to just <laughs> everybody in. Yes. Johnny, bring in your trumpet. Bring in your trumpet, Johnny. We need you to like for ev before every award. <laughs> You know, like the Queen has when she gets a nap. Yeah. She, well, she's not now. When the King, yeah. when the King gets um, yep. onto the mall, you know. Yes. My son once had to do that on horseback, on horseback with the trumpet, Seriously? with a massive horn thing. Boop, boop, announce the arrival of the Queen onto I, the mall. I think that's a brilliant idea. We get them all dressed up like yeah. with a sash on and with a bit sash in uniform. On, yes. and, and then when we have people arrive, you can and be like, boop, 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 yeah. Johnny. Yes, yeah. Johnny. That's what we're doing. There you go, Johnny. Okay. Get it, better get practising, yeah. I mean, this is going to be such an event. I'm so excited. Um, while we're talking about <laughs> Johnny trumpeting the arrival of everybody for, for the awards, I mean that in the nicest possible way. I'm not like trumpeting. <laughs> Trum <laughs> trumpeting. Um, uh, <laughs> absolutely. Excuse me. Um, I've actually put some cheeks on the little girl, oh, so dear. I've just used uh, PP1, and you see I've just put some little cheeks in there, and then I've blended it yeah. in with that, so it just gives that lovely little lip with from in glow on, mm. the, on her, and it gives her a lovely little face, I think. So we've done that, and we're going to do some hair now. Okay. Um, so let's do some brown for the hair. Uh, EB4 I need, so I'm just looking for my pair it is here. EB4 and EB2. Okay. Where are you, EB2? I will find it. Here it is. Excellent. So, to, we're going to follow my map again. So, you'll follow your instructions all the way. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just on the hair, finding little area, little locks, and I'm putting in the dark colour first now. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I'm doing it the opposite I've did to the skin. So remember, I had to put the light colour on, and then I put the dark and blended it out. Mm. With the hair, because the locks are so small, um, I don't know if you can remember in the watercolour class I was saying, sometimes when the areas are very, very small, it's yeah. better to just go in on the dry cardstock and yeah. map that out so it doesn't all blur into one. That's what I'm doing with the hair here. So I'm just finding little areas and I'm going in the opposites. And if you remember how I coloured the flamingo in, in the flora and fauna it might yep. have been, or in the, it might have been feathers and fur, Feathers and fur, feathers and fur and the yeah. flamingo. Uh, how I coloured the feathers to overlap when we did that piece of education is exactly the same as for her locks of hair. Because what's the difference between a feather and a lock of hair? Well, there isn't, other than the fact that Once. they're lying over mm. the top of each other, so you've still got that light and shade yeah. where you need to have locks of hair looking like they're lying over the top of another. So you treat it exactly the same as a feather. And the reason I'm explaining that to you is every single 
tutorial we do on the Academy of Colour, it builds on that experience and I refer you back to something you've learned and then it's, oh my word, yes, of course, that's so easy. Why am I really focused on the fact that I've got to be able to colour feathers and hair when actually the technique is exactly the same? And that's the thing with alcohol colouring and watercolour. There are a handful of techniques mm -hmm. and once you've nailed them, you can apply them to everything. And that's where you're starting to see those fantastic results that you're getting at home. Amazing. Um, lots of love still coming through. Jeanette is saying, Leanne is the best. I was so intimidated to try this. Thank you for demystifying the process. Oh, that's kind. Um, Patricia's excited about the brass band. Mm -hmm. um, and Nancy, yes, you'll have to get a few of your mates together, Johnny. Uh, Nancy says, Leanne, you and your team have knocked it out of the park with the AOC. AOC. Uh, you thought of everything, and I love that you two are doing these demos for it today uh, to get us excited for our future classes. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Um, Jeanette Patterson says, uh, <laughs> I thought colouring with alcohol this evening meant markers and margaritas. Oh, that would be good. I mean, that would be fun. It'd probably be a little bit more difficult to stay in between the lines, though, wouldn't it, if yeah. margaritas were involved? But, you know, maybe a show for another time. Uh, Mary says, Leanne, your blouse is gorgeous. Oh. You ladies all wear beautiful clothes, and I would love to know where to purchase it. OK, so are you in the UK? Uh, Let us know, Mary. But it's Marks and Spencers. Oh, is it really? Good yeah, it's old good old M&S. Yeah. Yeah, Marks and Spencers this year. So it should still be available, maybe in the sale, because it was the summer yeah. when I got it. You do, I haven't said that today. You do look very... Oh, thank um, you, Ben. Vibrant. Oh, thank you. Mm. Uh, I wasn't feeling vibrant. So when you don't feel vibrant, wear vibrant. Yeah. That's my motto in life. It'll put you in a... See if it gives you a bit of an bit uplift, of a, bit of a, a zhuzh. Yeah. Yeah, one of, one of them. I needed one of them when I got up this morning. Did you? Yeah. It was horrible this morning, wasn't it? Was it was horrible. Proper miserable. Dank, miserable, rainy, cold day. Yeah. When they say it was said to me, it's a southern, they're moving up here, they said it's grim up north. Today it is. Today it is. It's not always. No. We it get isn't. a bad rep. You do get a bad rep up here, but, but today, uh, today is winter is coming. Yeah, today is miserable. Good day to do some colouring. Yes, definitely. Um, right. So now what I've done is, you see, I've put in the dark and then the light. Now I'm going to go in with some much lighter colour um, onto the tips of her hair. I'm just going to make sure I've got the right one there. Yep. Uh, so there, I'm going in lighter. And then what we'll do is we'll go back and put in the real dark shaded bits. Yeah. So this is just kind of mapping out the texture of her hair. So that would mean that there's some light bits and there's some dark bits. The locks are all overlapping each other. So you see there I've got a light lock where two dark locks are starting to lie over it. And that's what builds the texture where it feels like there's real movement in the hair where there's pieces lying over the top of each other. Mm. Um, and then what you're going to do is take the real dark colour, which is EB6. Okay. And then I'm going to go and put in some tiny bits of very dark under the locks. Now, immediately look at that. I just want to point this one out before I go any further. Yeah. Tiny dot of very dark there makes that lock look like it's lying on top of this one. Yeah. And that's what you're going to do now. You're just going in and picking some areas to accentuate with your very dark. And I'll do it here and you'll see what I mean. Now, by putting that in there, these locks look like they're lying on top of these ones because it's dark underneath and Very lighter clever. on top. And it's immediate that you do it, that that happens. Yeah. Uh, and it really does make all of the difference. If I do it there, now this piece of hair looks like it's lying on top of this yeah. piece of hair. So it's very subtle. It's tiny little pieces. You don't need a lot. We do learn in the education where you're putting those and why. It's exactly what we did with the flamingo feathers you're just getting some dark areas and some light areas and that makes the hair look like it's got that texture and it's lying on top of each other if you want to then blend that out you can go back to the color you were using to blend just touch on the edges and it'll get it to blend in with the other pieces that you've yeah. put on there so it's, very simple to do, Ben. It's so clever to watch this. And imagine if you're picking this tip up in, you know, the 10, 15 minutes the hand's been showing you, imagine all the hints and tips you're going to get from the hours and hours of tutorials within the Academy of Colour. You know, if you perhaps haven't heard about it before, you're new to us and you think, oh, this is great. You know, just watching this 10, 15 minutes, you definitely need to uh, join the Academy, get in and, and think of everything that you'll learn over the course of the hours 
of tutorials that you have by the end of it? Genuinely, Ben, from the thousands and thousands that we've sold, and we have sold multiple thousands of mm. these, uh, multiple thousands of you have joined in on the Academy, I have not had, I can't think of one negative piece of feedback. No. Which is quite a powerful message, isn't it? Because when you sell so many of something, yeah. multiples of thousands, then, you know, there's, there's going to be someone who it doesn't quite work for, who feels they haven't quite got what they signed up for or isn't happy with the quality. You know, there's a, because everybody's opinion is relevant and it yeah. depends on what your expectation is. I can't think, I really cannot, I have not been made aware of one person who has said, hasn't said, wow, I'm blown away with the quality and the value for money and the education makes everything worth it. And I think that does speak volumes because, mm. uh, sadly, I, I always think that if people generally, if they've got a negative thing to say, they'll pipe up about it. Do you know what I mean? So if there was a, if there was a negative to be had, you'd have sort of heard about it. But I, I, I'm exactly the same as you. I've not read anything negative about it. And in fact, it is one of the most spoken about uh, and praised products that I think I've ever seen us do in the two and a half years that, that I've been here. You, know, you talk about a product that everybody loves, that everybody wants to be involved in, that you read hundreds of comments from of people who say, oh, I, I couldn't colour and now I'm you know, really good or you know, I used to be okay but didn't and then stop doing it and now I've you know, kind of found my mojo again thanks to the Academy of Colour. The amount of comments that you read like that are off the chart. And talking about that as well, I meant to mention earlier, there is a specific uh, Facebook group as well, isn't there, for our there Academy is. of Colour? Um, yeah. Pupils. Absolutely, Ben. So uh, if you go to and uh, just search for Academy of Colour on Facebook, yeah. there are some questions for you to answer so you can join. Um, and once you've answered those questions, you get in. I think. I mean, I think there's over 5,000 people in there now. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of people all on the journey. And what you get in there is the support of everybody else who's on the journey with you. But you also get the support of myself. Yeah and our other colouring experts in the business who will give you feedback on your uh, issues or problems, anything that you're experiencing will help you. You know, if you say, oh, I'm really struggling with this, but I can't quite get it, what shall I try? We'll give you some suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, we'll also just tell you when you've done an amazing job, we'll celebrate your successes with you and help you out when you're stuck. Yeah. And the most important thing I think in that group is, sometimes in Facebook groups, my pet hate is, you, always, you, you get the Debbie Downers every now and again, don't <laughs> you? <laughs> You get, the, you know, they get the people who yeah. live for mourning in a Facebook yeah. group. I'm just going to say it. We don't have that in our group because we've got some very strict rules of we want positivity. Yeah. We want support. We want to raise each other up. Kindness. We want to celebrate our successes. We want to be kind. We want it to feel like the best colouring group and place to be and we're very careful about managing that. Yeah. Um, and you're all saying what a... What a change it is to be part of that community yeah. and it really is a community and everybody is willing everybody else on and celebrating with them as they go on their journey and picking them up if they feel a little bit down and then a little bit of positivity and encouragement it really is the most fantastic place to be it's mm. i can't say enough about it i'm so so proud that we've managed to create that for all of you out there it's so nice to hear, and I think generally you guys know what we're like as a crafty family here at Crafters TV. I think you know, generally, generally we're, we're, we are a happy bunch, we're an encouraging bunch, we're a kind bunch, and I think that's why everyone you know, gathers each and every day to watch these shows and join in with each other and you know, help. And that's why I always say, and I truly mean it, you know, if we can't help you on a show, we miss a question or a comment, chances are there will be one of our fabulous, one of you fabulous guys watching right now who will be able to help and, and um, you know, answer questions and perhaps you know, push somebody in the, the right direction if they're struggling just a little bit and again in our groups in general I always see positivity you know when people are posting pictures of cards and of colouring that they've done and I think that is marvellous to see I really do and you, you know like Debbie uh, Debbie Leanne says you know you do get some Debbie Downers don't you on uh, on social pages and it, it can be a little bit some some not our Debbies oh no no but you know you, you do get a few moaners don't you but I don't think you do in our groups which is no. absolutely lovely yeah um um, I'm just going to show you what yes. I did. I don't know if you noticed here when I did the back of the dress. Um, I might just grab another one and show you actually. Yeah. When I did the back of the dress, I, I'll just talk to you about it. I put the dark colour down and then I put the light, and there was a huge contrast between the two, and one was bleaching the other out. Mm. And then I did some palette blending. So if I show you on a little area of this skirt, you'll understand what I've done here to get this beautiful smooth blend. Yeah. So I've just put that dark colour down. Did I put the darkest down? Right, so put the darkest colour down here. Just make sure that that was the darkest. So I'm not telling you a fib. 
And then if I take the lighter colour here to that, there's a big contrast. And you can see what's happening is it's bleaching. Can you see that? It's bleaching out the darker colour there. So you're not getting a lovely smooth blend. To get around that, you need a mid colour between the two colours that I've given you in the marker. Yeah. So the third colour that we talk about, Ben. And because you haven't got that on your marker, you do what's called palette blending. Now, we've done palette blending with the original box, and we've done it several times through all of the other education. We will cover it as part of the education for this session. To do that, you scribble the darkest colour on your mat, which I've done there. That's the darkest colour that I first put down. And then with the lightest end of your pen, you scoop that up which mixes a mid-tone for you and allows you to blend that uh, without the bleaching. Got you. And then when you clean the residue off your pen, I'm just doing a little scribble here, clean the residue off my pen and then I bring the light in. That's how I get the transition. That's answered Anne's question because she wondered what that little squiggle was, I think. There you go. Yeah. Good. And please, I just thought I'd tell you that because while we were talking, I kind of naturally did it. Yeah. And, um, Thought I'd better explain that to you. Um, still a few comments, well, loads of comments coming through. Loving this day of colouring, says Joanne Michelli. I could watch Leanne colour all day, and I have. Um, and we have as well. It's been a lovely, relaxing day. Um, Joanne also saying, and I don't know if you missed this chat earlier on or whether you're just kind of reiterating it, you say there is no denying that that little fairy is the spitting image of a little Leanne. Well, um, it is based on... Um, Mini Mini Leanne, isn't it? Shall mini, I find mini. an Ada oh, picture for yes. you? Oh, yes. Hang on then. So uh, I meant to say as well, I always mean to say, Ada is such a lovely name. Oh, it's, it's, it is it? lovely, it's isn't it? It's such a cute name. Like, it's, it's like, um, how can I put this? That means to sound funny. It's like an older name. You know what I mean? But it's such a lovely, lovely name. Do you mind if she's got chocolate on her face? No, even better. OK. <clears throat> oh, yes. Probably need to do the, the brightness for you, don't I? There. She's a little cracker. Look at that. Bless so her. she is. Uh, we did absolutely base the little... Yeah, you did. That's incredible. <laughs> the little fairy on Ada. And I'll just very quickly show you Prince... You know, we were talking about Princess Ada. Oh, yes. At Christmas. Um, yes, let's not watch me scroll. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> this was... Here we go. This was the fancy dress outfit we got her. Here's Princess Ada. Oh, that is so... Super cute. She absolutely loved it. Look at Christmas. her little face. Isn't she good? Look at her. <laughs> she looks as pleased as punch. She loved it. She really did. She does. She does. Oh, look, I'll just show you very quickly. Here's a swing. Oh, hang on. Oh. Swinging her little dress. Oh, look at she her. Was so, she was living her best life and had a little cape. Oh, Princess wow. Princess Ada. There you go. There she is. Well, <laughs> now we can understand. I mean, that is a brilliant image. The team have done amazing, haven't they? <laughs> they have. They have done a brilliant, brilliant job. She's, um, oh, she is my world. They both are. Edie as well. Uh, they just bring so much joy in my life. They really do. Super cute. It's different. Once you have grandchildren, yeah. you realise it is different to having your own children. Um, is it, I think it must be your... Is it you or... Jan, I think I think a lot of you have now got um, Jan, grandchildren. Say so yes, Jan's got two. Yeah. Debbie Robinson's got two. But talking about the love that you have for your grandchildren, yeah. how it's different than the love that you have for your own children. It's very different. Mm. De Debbie Fisher has three. Yeah. Um, so yes, we're all nanas now. Yeah. All grandmas. It's lovely. So lovely. It is lovely. She can have whatever she wants. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I think kids Basically. realise that. Quite yeah, my son as well. said, "When are you ever going to say no to?" And I just said, "Never." Mm. <laughs> I'm never going to say no. It's your job, isn't it, as a grandparent? Yeah. They always say yes. She to can have kids. whatever she wants. Exactly right. <laughs> um, this, uh, by the way, we are flooded now with comments of how cute Ada is. <laughs> Beautiful. She's lovely. Says Michelle. How cute. Says Barbara. So sweet. Says Coletta. Leanne, your granddaughter is adorable. God bless her. Says Roseanne. Uh, Patty Abbott saying, OMG, she's adorable. Uh, and Patricia says, that picture even better with chocolate on her face. <laughs> it really is. I feel, I feel Edie's left out now. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. How so old we'll is Edie then? Edie is, she was born in April, so April, so May, June, July, August, ten, September, 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 September. Nearly nine months, nine yeah. months, yes. She was, she's nine months on the 11th. Um, OK, let's find Edie. Get on. Uh, Edie loves Ada. Ada's still making her mind up about right. Edie usurping right, yeah. Yeah. the nest. I can understand that. She's still deciding. She's definitely coming round to her. Definitely, mm. definitely coming round to her. Um, 
Okay, let's find little. Oh, this is a good one. A little fit. Oh, it's a bit blurry. Eighty-two teeth. Eighty-two teeth. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute picture. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Oh, oh Ben, honestly, goodness. I mean, I know I'm a little bit biased. No, Hang on, uh, we've got a, we'll find we've got another one of us somewhere. <laughs> Hang on. Oh well, we've got Elton as well. We've got Edie smiling at Elton. Elton the loon. Hang on, here we go. Okay. So here is Edie <laughs> loving Elton. Elton no. the whippet. Oh my gosh. She loves him. Look at his little face. <laughs> you know, he's very good with them, I have to say. Very, very good. I need to find a better one of Edie for you. Um, well, I am loving this show tonight. Oh, I've my God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, right. Seriously, guys. I mean... What, look at her little... What's she got there? Yeah, a there bauble. A, she pinched oh a bauble. Oh, my. You just want to... You do. Oh. You want to squeeze. There you go, little lady as well. Wow. So she'll have a stamp for her too at some point. That... Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Shoot this overload. <laughs> and now all of the comments coming in about Edith. <laughs> <laughs> just so we evened it out. You know, we've got yes. no, we've got no favourites here. You know, everyone's no, equal. No, Edith needs to be equal. there too. Yeah. Uh, Christine says, oh, my, I can't stand it. A lot of cuteness <laughs> right there. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. They so are cute. They are cute. Right, so I'm going to carry on. So I've done the dress. You can see I've got the folds in the dress now. So I've done the light and the dark over the top. So you can see those folds have happened in the dress. You've got your white acrylic marker. I'm just going to grab it in your original box. And if you want to add um, a little bit more highlight mm -hmm. in some areas, you can do little flashes. Now, when I say a little flash, I yeah. literally mean... A tiny flash. Right. So if your pen's been away for a while, you see what I've done there is get rid of the excess paint. Yeah. So do that because you don't want to ruin your image. But once you've done that, what you can do is the odd little... And you see how it immediately then makes it look like the light shining. Yeah. So you're just doing little flashes in places and that catches the light. And that's all you need to do with your white marker. Lovely. Which puts that, those little highlights in for you. Your wings, I would be doing in exactly the same way. I'm going to move that because it'll get white paint everywhere. Um, in exactly the same way as I've just done the hair. So I'll map in exactly the same as the peacock feathers. I'll map out the darker places so that I've got them overlapping each other. And I'll just do a couple so you can see. So you see here and here, these two. These three have got dark at the bottom, so this is having dark at the top to overlap it. So that means when I, when I blend this down, if I palette blend by putting the darkest colour on here and then picking up with the lightest and blend this down, yeah. what happens is, because that gets really light there, when it's darker at the bottom here, you see how this now then looks like this is overlapping because you've yeah, got the yes, contrast clever. between light and dark. Mm. That's what you need to do to overlay each piece. And when you do that, this is what you'll end up with, where the wings, all of the pieces of the wings, feel like they're lying on top of each other. Um, and that's what you'll end up with when you finish that colouring project. And you've got the instructions in there to take you every step of the way through. And, of course, I'll be doing the live education pieces with you as well. So brilliant. I love this hour. Another hour has already flown by. Um, loads of lovely comments coming through for um, Ada and Edie, which is so lovely to read. Um, hi to Gwen, who's got in touch. She says, hey, Ben, how's your dad, bad dad joke book coming along? I mean, Johnny's still working on it. Uh, here's another one for your book. I sold my vacuum cleaner today. All it was doing was collecting dust. Oh, boom, boom. Ba -dum. Is this a clean one, Johnny? Uh, Johnny's, Johnny's got one here. I don't, I don't know what that says. What do you call a girl with a sun lamp on her head? Oh, Tanya. no. <laughs> I did not oh, know that. Oh, my word. <laughs> I did not know that and one. That is actually quite good. That is good. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. Uh, yeah. My stepdad, Ian, yeah. is the king of bad dad jokes. Literally, from the minute he walks in the house to the minute he leaves, regardless of how many hours he's in the house, it's a new one every five minutes. Mm. So I will st I'm, I'm not going to write them down because I can't be bothered. But I'll put the recorder on and I'll bring them in for you guys so you can, get, you can have some of Ian's jokes if you develop in a book. 
That would be they're, amazing. They're legendary. Are they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, my son cries with laughing the entire time he's in the house just because of the bad dad jokes. Oh, well, you, you definitely need to send those through. I will. I'll share um, them for absolutely you. Absolutely all over that. Um, thank you for all the comments. Um, it's been such a lovely show so far. We're going to have a quick look at some pictures here because uh, we have now finally got things working as far as the uh, emails are concerned. Um, so, Liz, watercolour pictures uh, from the main collection. Oh, well done. Liz, that is absolutely superb. Yeah. Well done, you. Oh, I mean, Liz, please let us know. Are you incredibly proud of that? Because you should be. It's phenomenal. Uh, but you wouldn't know that I hadn't done that. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, my mouth is open, jaw yeah. hit the floor moment. This is amazing. And Terry, I mean, look at all of, look at Terry's works here. This amazing, is brilliant. Terry. Absolutely. Now, I've seen some of Terry's work in the Facebook group. I remember seeing some of these up close and personal. And can I just say, your ethnic skin, Terry, mm. You've nailed it. Yeah. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous work. I think you're, you've got an A star uh, through the, uh, the through the first bit of the Academy of Colour there, Terry. That is amazing. Uh, and from one amazing picture <gasps> to another amazing picture. Oh my word! Toby the puppy. Toby. Oh my how word! He's too much. Cute. He is cute. You just want it as much as you wanted to like squeeze the cheeks of your oh, crotch. You just want to. Do you know what I want him. to do? I need. To, I want. This is going to sound terrible. Please don't hold it against me. I need to sniff him. <laughs> there's, yes. There's nothing quite like the smell of a puppy. A puppy smell. Puppy smell it's is like amazing. It's like new baby smell. Though, new though, baby it? smell. Puppy smell. Look at him. Oh, oh purple leash. leash. Look at him. Crafter's companion lead. He oh. is adorable. What are you like doing to me? First, it's Leanne showing pictures of little ones. Now we're seeing pictures of puppies. I need. Neither any more of puppies or little children. So let's stop looking at uh, <laughs> stop looking at pictures. Wow, um, what a great show so far. We're going to take a short break. I know lots of you have got items in your basket uh, <laughs> that need to be checked out. Sorry, um, <laughs> Susie's just messaged saying puppy breath in your face. Love. Love. No. I'll see if I can quickly find it. Sorry, I know we're all doing photos because uh, you know I've got a puppy. I mean, she's a bit bigger now. She's six months. Mo Molly Collie, but she um, she loves snuggles. And this morning, because obviously I had a little bit of a line, didn't I? So I was up, I was in my dressing gown, and uh, I sort of was watching a bit of TV. And she came over and snuggled. I mean, look at that, look at that picture there. Look at her little face. Look at the smile on her face. Oh, look, she's smiling. I know. Oh, all you need in there's a little tooth. tooth. Yeah. Oh my word, she's lovely. She's the cute what a beauty. Thing. She's, oh, I love her a Ben, bit. I absolutely love her. Little Molly Collie. Has she been on TV yet? Uh, what, live? Here? Me? No, she hasn't been in yet. Do we need to get her on? Yeah, I think we, sh I think we should, shouldn't we? Yeah, Ted's been on. Ted's been on? Ted's been on. On birthday week, si my husband Simon came to pick us up and he had Ted, so we just brought Ted in. Minnie just wandered around and growled at everyone if they tried to take her squeaky toy off her, because that's what she's like. She's 13, it's allowed. But Ted, Ted was actually up on the bench saying hello to everyone. I could bring, because we're together again on Thursday. Yeah? I could potentially, I was going to show you this one. Apologies about my horrible air and glasses, but look at, look at how she was snuggled with me earlier. Oh, look at the smile. That says, I love it. She's getting in your neck. Mm. She's cuddling in your neck there, Ben. Yeah, I love my dad. Oh, she, oh. Are you our favourite? Huh? Are you our favourite? Do you know what? I think I am. Are you a human of choice? Our pets, make, they make a decision on yeah. their human of choice, don't yeah, they? they do. And whereas Mac is Laura's dog, definitely, mm -hmm. she's mine. She always brings the toys to me. When I come in, she always jumps up, cuddles and sits with me. It's You're a lovely feeling human. to have oh. going over to your dogs. Oh, <sighs> Ted's my, hu I'm Ted's human. Really? Yeah. Minnie, Minnie is Simon's dog through and through. Mm. She's a madam with everybody else but mm. him. A madam. Uh, but Ted, he likes to get on my knee for a cuddle. I know, it's the last minute. Oh, and he comes when I get on my knees like that. He's got one ear up, one ear down. Yeah. Oh. Love anyway, we, anyway. Need to, <laughs> we need to go for a break, uh, <laughs> get your baskets checked out and we will come back with lots more for you uh, in the final hour of the show. Any more questions and comments, uh, send those our way and we'll be back in about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. 
will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. The one that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. Oh, we'll do it. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing, the messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family well I'll tell you what we have got many happy uh, viewers today Terry um, whose pictures we saw said wow Leanne I've just gotten goosebumps off your compliment thank you that's from Terry whose uh, pictures we saw well, do you know what? It's genuine, yeah. Terry, because I have seen them and you did absolutely nail that ethnic skin. I think you did a marvellous job. You should be proud. Uh, Mary Pat says, now I'm going to want a baby and a puppy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, just buy the Academy of Colour instead. It's far, far cheaper. Uh, Kim says, this is the best show ever. Dogs and babies. I mean, what more do you want, really? Uh, Catherine says, thank you for showing my boy Toby. By the way, his breath smells of parsley as he's been rearranging my herb garden. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, boy, Toby. <laughs> and a couple of questions. I mean, whenever you want to send in pictures of um, your pets, by the yeah. way, feel free although not too many in one go because i think we did it once didn't we sent in pictures of uh, dogs and we crashed the channel um so maybe just do it in dribs and drabs um question from kendall yeah. who says does the academy of color alcohol markers help with the other tri blends right so yes, yes. The, the techniques that you learn in academy of color you can apply to all of your other alcohol markers because all alcohol markers are equal yeah they're all the same it's alcohol coloring so everything you learn with the academy of color using these dual markers you can apply those techniques to every other alcohol marker that you've got at home and she'd also just asked a separate question so she's got both sets of uh, basic and extended alcohol markers uh, are they able to be used together yes yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely right yeah uh, there we go i think we are up to date. So uh, let me show you some pictures and um, we will do some more live demonstrations for you. Um, on the website right now, we've got lots of buy one, get two free. So best thing to do with all of these actually is to hit the shop the day button and you'll be able to see all of these deals. Um, on the website as i say so this is the connie fong angel inspiration basically you buy the angel uh, messenger stamp set and then you get the other two for free so they're normally 12.99 each 14.95 platinum price though 10 pounds 39 or 11 dollars 96 there's so many great deals to have and it's nice isn't it actually if you're picking up um some of our spectrum or our pens today maybe you've gone for the academy of color nice to pick up these other little stamp sets that you can practice all of those brand new techniques on outside of your academy of color as well uh, we've also got the secret garden stamp uh, selection 18 elements here um, and once again look at that price seriously three pounds 99 or five dollars 56 if you're platinum you're getting um one and then two more for free it's 18 elements in total yeah, you might find that sort of change down the back of the sofa it really is uh, those sort of prices that you're looking at today for some of these items we've then got your assorted three-piece stamp collection um so this brings you um those beautiful butterflies from the vintage butterflies collection you've got the giraffe from the the, um, uh, what's the name of that collection? Animals of Attitude. Animals of Attitude, that's it. Uh, Reach for the Sky, then you've got the cute little uh, pussycats there as well. Again, 65% you're saving, should be almost £18, $24. You're at £6.39 if you're platinum, <laughs> or $7.99. And then these colouring pads, which are absolutely brilliant. So again, you're buying one, getting two for free. Um, and these are great because you get six images um, within each of the pads, um, six of each. And then in the back of those, of course, you get the three pages of your uh, foiled um, die cut toppers, which are super, super handy. So those are going to be included within the buy one, get three free, uh, get two free, I should say, uh, for £7.99 or $10.36 if you're a Platinum member. And then another one of our deals where you get your um, premium marker paper, um, that's your alcohol whole marker paper and then you can get in two of our tri blend pens included within that collection as well uh, for free seven pounds 99 or twelve dollars 79 is the platinum price on that all of those deals you'll find on the website right now and alongside that don't forget you'll find the 23 percent off section as well which is getting updated each and every day with the different crafts that we do as part of new year new craft the big launch today, though, of course, is the Academy of Colour. Cute characters, brand new today. Loads of you have uh, picked this up already. And actually, lots of you going for the individual box on its own. Many more of you going for the showstopper. But if you just want to pick up the Academy of Colour cute characters, there it is. Everyone saves almost £15 today, $20.48. Then whenever you, wherever you are within Club Inspire, you get your extra discount on top of that. We assume the majority of you are platinum, so you'd pay just £27.19 today, or $35.96. Um, and that, of course, is the next step in your um, Academy of Colour. Um, so if you're already on that journey, you definitely want to pick it up, um, because, of course, there's two more um, Academy of Colours to come. Then we've got the uh, awards ceremony. Somebody uh, earlier on as well, I meant to mention that, I can't, I can't find the comment now, but someone was saying, once we've had the awards ceremony, are we going to have a crew? I mean, that could be the next step, couldn't it? All I'm the, on board for that. 
award winners go get on to cruise. go on the cruise. Yes, yes, Ben. To Barbados. Yes. For a month. Wow. Yep, that's the next, the next yes, thing. Yes, please. Can we just, we'll make that. We'll make it happen. Make that happen. Um, right. Quick question mm -hmm. from LA Price, who says, hello, Leanne and Ben. Which colours would you use ooh, uh, for an African-American skin tone? Okay, so if you go to the Academy of Colour Facebook yep. group and have a look in the resources, all of those skin, skin tones are worked out for you. The pen combinations are there. Perfect. I can't remember off the top of my head. No. I... But they are in there for you. Excellent stuff. Um, right, we've got about 45 minutes left to go. Okay. So let's dive once again back into the box. What can you show us now, Leanne? So we're going to have a look at doing the little bunnies with oh, some texture. So you've got texture in the fur there with alcohol markers. So I thought we'd have a look at how we break that down and how we do that. And this could look a little bit scary, like that's never going to work. No. But how we get to this point from that point. So I've got my markers and the first colour I'm going to use is GB05. So that's a very, very light colour. And similar to the colour in the new uh, Q character box, which is the TB05, the O5 colours are a hint of a colour, just a very slight hint of. They're not a full colour at all. And that's just going to moisten your card for you because wet ink blends much easier than dry card. Yeah. And because we're going to be putting the little dots down, you really want... Um, the card to be wet because you want the dots to be fuzzy so you'll work on one area at a time so I'm going to work on the body then I'll work on the head then I'll work on the ears and then I'll work on the other rabbit so you won't work on too much at one time so I've got the first layer of colour down and then I take the darkest colour which in this case is GB8 and I'll stipple, stipple in the shade this time rather than colour it so stipple just means a vertical pen and lots of dots okay so that is this. This is stippling. Yeah. Now, because I've put that first layer of colour down, and I'm not being particularly careful, Ben, I'm just putting lots of dots yeah. where I want the shade to be. So where I would have put the darker colour, um, should I have been doing that? And it's essentially around the perimeter so that it's lighter in the centre of the body, because that's where it would be or if you may, certainly, where it's a little bit rounder and sticking out. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure we can all, well, some, some of us will be able to identify with that, maybe not all of us. Um, and then we're going to put in here, just where her little hand is, there'll be a little bit of shadow under there as well, and on the base of the arm. Okay. Okay, so we get the dots in. And you can see those dots are already starting to blur yeah. because I've got that base layer on. So then we're going to do our palette blending again. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is um, with my GB, I'm going to, with GB8, I'm going to put that here, hoping that it doesn't pick up the blue. GB8, which is the colour I've just done that stipple with, I'm going to put that there and then with GB5, which is the opposite end of the pen, a little bit of a, I'll just show you there, a little bit of a lighter colour. I'm going to pick up the colour I've just done the stippling with and then stipple it back over the top. So what you then get is a differentiation, a mid-tone from those stippled pieces. And it starts to blend them in. And mm. you go back over the top of them again. You don't have to knock over the top because you're not after a polka dot bunny. No. You're after a textured bunny. So it's fine to go back over the top. But you're not actually going to do any blending. You're going to let the dots do the blending for you. Okay. So that will be there. And then I've got GB5, I'm going to scribble down. So that's the colour I've just been stippling with, GB5. So that's going to go on my mat here. And then I'm going to take the next lightest colour, which is GB3. Let me just find that here. There we go. I'm going to pick up the GB5. So I'm just going one lighter colour all the way and then stippling that back into the centre. Uh -huh. Now, as you do this, you'll see it starts to get lighter and it starts to build up that texture. What you will see or what you will feel is that it's very dotty and it's not fully blended. Yeah. Because what you need to do is build up quite a few of these layers. So what you're doing now is actually just getting your map in place. <gasps> I thought the roof was coming off then. Did what you hear that? It? Oh. It's just a bit windy in here, I think it is. Oh, ah, okay. 
it was the, I don't know what it was. It felt like something was falling down. <laughs> I, th I think it's just the, the wind. Is it the wind? Yeah. Sounds like thunder out there now. It's not very nice weather, is it? So you stipple over the top, so that starts to look great. So then what you do is you start right back at the beginning again. So you go with your darker one, and then you put in some more of your shade. Mm -hmm. And we're going to repeat the whole process yeah. with little stipples right back over the top again, because you've got your map in now. So now we're going to go back. And when you do this, then it really does, because the ink is very wet. It really starts to blend in. Yeah, I've so never seen this technique before. It's really interesting to So watch. The, the technical term, the yeah. professional term for this type of colouring, Ben, is pointillism. Is what? Pointillism. 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 Okay. Which is basically uh, the colouring with points, with dots. Yeah. Just lots and lots and lots of little, little dots. Um, and you're just going to go back in with them and then with your all of your colours and you just keep going over the top and we preserve our highlight in the centre of the body and then we can go with the darker areas and you can do as much or as little, as dark or as light as you want and every time you do it, it'll look different mm. and don't worry about that, it's fine you want each piece of artwork to be unique you don't have to worry about achieving exactly the same every time Has there anyone else seen this for the first time? Let me know in the comments I've never ever seen this before, pointillism I shall certainly remember, it's very clever Another great technique to add to your colouring bow, isn't it? So dots, dots, dots all the way. And you would do the same on the face, on the head, you know, on the other little bunny rabbit. Just yeah. keep your preserved highlight where you want to keep your preserved highlight. And what that does is build the texture. So he feels or looks like a fluffy little bunny. Very clever. There we go. So you can see by putting several layers on, that's now started to blend in so that it feels or looks fluffy. Um, and if I bring in the finished one... Oh, wow! You can see when that's all built together, it really does look like fluffy bunnies. It's so effective. Oh, don't move it. I was just coming close to my screen here and get a bit of a... No, just, that really is incredible. It's such a cool effect, isn't is that? it? And it's just lots of little dots. And actually, on this finished mm. one here, I've used lighter markers. But that doesn't matter because it just means that this is a darker furred bunny. So you're going to get the same result whether you use light, very light colours or very dark colours. And for example, here on this um, one where we did the stamp plate, same technique just with greys. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter the colours you use. It could be a pink bunny. It doesn't yeah. matter. It could be like you know a toy pink bunny that you're doing. As long as you use that pointy. Uh, effect with those different colours you're going to get that result and it will look absolutely beautiful it's and we'll go into more depth than that in the education session yeah you're kind of getting little kind of sneaky peeks yes. as to kind of the things which you're going to get in the education zoe carver says nope i have never seen this before uh first time seeing this says uh, michelle chernenko very cool um and jean says leanne will be the next georges surratt <laughs> Um, is George the is he an artist? I don't know. I might have to Google. Let's Google. <laughs> I'm sure it's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so, because I've just read yeah. it out. Let's. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's a compliment. Oh, Thank he's a French you. artist. There you go. Yes. Maybe he's a maybe he's a French artist who specialises oh, in pointillism. Yes. He did. So yes. T t look, 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 look at his. I quickly come over. Okay. Yeah, pointillism. Look at his. That's his Eiffel Tower. Oh my word, yeah. pointillism. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah, just lots and lots of dots. Yeah. Isn't it fabulous? That's beautiful. I love that. There we go. I, so really, I really like that kind of um, impressionistic art. I like, you know, like the monies and that kind of thing where it, it's an image, but it's not an image. I just think it's beautiful. Yeah. And it gives that effect. And, and Mary Patch has said it actually, take, take the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Leanne's bunnies look so cuddly. It really does give that kind of really cuddly effect to your. Um, to the fur there. Alison is saying, no, I've never seen this before. Always learning with Crafter's Companion uh, and Sensational Sky. Jotty saying, OMG, I just want to pick up and cuddle that bun bun. Uh, <laughs> I love that bun bun. Shake your bun bun, shake your bun bun. Um, Trisha says, I do that technique when I'm making really curly, tight curls with hair. Yes, um, excellent. I've done that too. Um, lovely comments coming through. Sorry, Isn't it great? I just shouted that at you very aggressively, didn't I? <laughs> I was just like, yes, Ben. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. I, it's fine. I didn't take it like that. Sorry. Absolutely fine. Uh, <laughs> anyway! 
the, 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 sorry, everyone at home. Sorry, the, the Academy of <laughs> the Academy of Colour is available. Cute characters individually. Um, so if that's the way that you want to go, if you just want to get this as your next bolt on, uh, the next step in your journey, you can buy it on its own. Uh, a lot of people have done that, which is absolutely fine. You're saving 1488 today or 2048 um, if you're a platinum member. 27 pounds 19 is all you'll pay, or 35 dollars 96. The majority of people that are going the show stop away. Uh, we are now at two thirds of the stock gone. I'll tell you the reason why. You get 50 bonus points with this. All right, so um, that's going to help you up within Club Inspire. Um, moving you up potentially to that next level, keeping you at that platinum status. More points you accrue, obviously, the better. So you get 50 bonus points. You get the, the brand new Academy of Colour included in here, but then we give you a selection of our um, premium Spectrum Noir products in there as well. So you're going to get watercolour cardstock. Great to have extra for your um, watercolour projects and your Academy of Colour. You're going to get your set of aqua markers in there as well, dual tip markers with that ultra fine nib and that Japanese brush nib one end. That you're getting 12 colours there in the primary. We're going to give you that watercolour um, discovery kit as well, which is super. So there's um, even more colours of your um, aqua markers in there. And you're also going to get some of our glitter brush pens too. It's a really lovely collection to go for. Keep it all for yourself. Or, you know what, if you just decide, well, actually, I'm j I just want to go for the Academy of Colour because that's what I'm working on currently, you've then got um, some lovely gifts which you can give away to your family members. Maybe, you know, if you want to treat the kids potentially. And, and the deal on that basically means that everything else that you get alongside the Academy of Colour is worth £52 or $77. You're going to pay just, uh, just over £20, just over $20 for all of that for £50, $77 worth of value. And in total, great price, platinum, just £44 or $52. So really worth considering that. And then if you're sort of more down the uh, alcohol uh, route of colouring or maybe you've just been inspired by what you've seen um, with Leanne there and you want to kind of expand what you've got as far as your alcohol markers are concerned, we've then got your um, alcohol um, colouring showstopper deal. 54-piece uh, collection because within this you're going to get your um, illustrators, 36-piece uh, illustrator collection. We've got the um, classics for you as well. Those are coming in the bright, so 12 of your classics. And then a selection of the tri blends as well in the exotic blends. We also give you within that bundle um, a set of your Nina cardstock as well. It basically works out, and this is probably the easiest way to describe it because I was trying to do all sorts of maths on this earlier. If you're a platinum member, you pay £52 or $80. Uh, that's basically the price of your illustrators. Everything else that you get within that bundle it's like you get it for free, which again, really is a super buy and why we've um, wrapped that one up as another one of our showstopper deals. Um, 52 pounds, $80 uh, is the deal on that. Um, other things which are proving busy on the website, the Aqua Blend pencils. So if you want to do some um, watercoloring with your pencils, we've got the 96 piece uh, selection there, all of them. So you've got your botanicals, your essentials, your portrait collection, and your landscape collection. Uh, it's a 30% saving across this. So again, it should be £100, $120. Platinum members, is, that is incredible, £55.20 or $66.40. Um, so worth a little sneaky peek on that uh, if you fancy picking those up. All of the deals you'll find on the Shop the Day page. And don't forget, whilst you're at the website as well, to uh, check out the 23% savings that we've got, which get bigger each and every day. You'll find more tomorrow. Um, but today we've got 23% off uh, dye ranges and 23% off um, colouring ranges as well. Thank you to everyone for all the lovely comments coming through. Um, and just a quick one before we go for a break from Veronica Cleary, who says, Hi Ben and Leanne, could you please say hi to my son Nathan, who's seven. He's watching with me and is going mad for mummy to buy the wabbit and the wabbit and the wabbit and end so he can do it. Pens. Oh, pens. Thank you. Well, hello, Nathan. Mummy, buy the wabbit and the pens. So then he can do it then, can't he? He can. Yeah. Um, hello, Nathan. That is a very excellent idea for you to mm. get your mummy to buy the rabbit and the pens. And then when she does and we get them home, please send us a picture of what you colour. I like that idea. I love that idea a lot. Uh, so hi, Veronica. Hi, Nathan. We're going to have a quick break. When we come back, uh, final sort of wrap up, really, of the show. Any last questions you want to fire our way, feel free to. Uh, any more comments as well, we'd love to read those out. And any more of your pictures too. Uh, we'll see if we can do like a final little picture gallery. Anything that you've done with the Academy of Colour or indeed, you know, 
puppies as well, whatever you want. Um, we're going to have a look at some of our backstage crew right now whilst you check out your <laughs> baskets. Have a look at this. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes and I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. Going to give a shout out to our backstage hero and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal, seal gate. Thinking, Joe, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words that I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire man a roll, fire man a roll, fire man a roll, fire man a roll, fire man a roll. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Welcome back, everyone. It still makes me smile, that little video with um, all the stuff going wrong. You guys love that, don't you, when the, the bloopers happen? But that's why we love it here as well, because we show you everything, warts and all. You know, when things go wrong, let's share it with you. So it saves you from making the mistake in the future, doesn't it, you see? Um, just before we move on, quick question from Sarah C. Sarah C, who says, question, um, if I have the aqua pens, mm. uh, what difference do they offer from the pencils? That is a good question. So pencils or pens, what are the differences? That's an excellent question. With markers, you can do many more techniques. So you can do all of your background washes. You can colour them straight onto a stamp. You can spritz them. You can stamp with them. You can mix new colours more easily. With a watercolour pencil, that's really about fine, specific, detailed colour. Um, where with the markers of an image, colouring an image, an artist piece, with the markers you can do many more different techniques with them. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's worth having 
a selection of both then, really, isn't it? There's room for both, mm. which is why we've done both in the, in the boxes, which yeah. is why, you know, we've included Aquan with the alcohol markers in all four of the boxes, the main launch and then the auto ships. Um, and then why you've got a box dedicated to aqua pencils coming up and a box dedicated to wax pencils because there is room for every single one of them in your stash and for different colouring jobs, they're relevant and they work together and support each other, uh, which is why we've done them as part of the whole colour colour collection. Excellent. Thank you for your question, Sarah C. Uh, there's plenty more time. We've got another 25 minutes or so left on the show. So if you have a, a burning question that you need to ask us, we would love you to fire it our way. It's one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at Crafters TV, that we can answer those questions, that you can be uh, interactive with us and you can join in the show. And um, like we said, we said this yesterday, you know, New Year, New Craft. I know we've got a lot of uh, new people watching. If you are a beginner and, you know, you've not maybe put your hands up yet and said hello, don't be afraid to ask a question, honestly, uh, even if you think it's the most simplest question in the world ask it because if it means it's going to help you get into a particular craft or give you the confidence to you know, buy some of our products then ask that question because that is honestly what we're here for and as I said if we don't manage to pick it up on the show one of our lovely uh, viewers or indeed uh, one of our lovely social superstars like Susie will certainly help you uh, with any questions as well. Right so uh, we're going to leave the details up for the um, the show stopper because that's still proving the most popular I think over 60% um, of the stock has gone of that no no uh, it was two thirds wasn't it actually yeah two thirds of the stock has gone um, so we'll leave the details for that up and we'll delve sort of one final time into uh, the brand new Academy of Colour cute characters box what are we going to have a look at Liam? we're going to have a look at how to um, get this ombre between two colours with some alcohol markers so how we can get the skirt to go from purple to aqua on the end and get that little blend in the centre We'll not do the face because we've already done quite a bit of blending and we'll show you that later. But I thought it'd be nice to see how you do that on the skirt. Get two different colours to join in the middle. Okay. So we're going to start and again, um, you'll have the full instructions all the way, which you can refer to with the colours as well. So we've got all that worked out for you. So I've got the markers that I'm starting with. And then what I like to do, because I'm going to be using the brush nib to flick away from myself, I turn the image upside down. Um, if you're new to flicking, it's much easier to flick away from yourself than it is to try and flick. Look at the difference. Much fatter, not as much detail. So it's much easier to anchor your hand yeah. and flick away from yourself than it is to try and do that, which much more chunkier coming forward. So turn your image upside down and then we're going to just into the centre of the skirt from the waistband, do the flicking technique. And we learn the flicking technique with the main box and we do a lot of it in the uh, feathers and fur and we talk about you know the technique and how you need to anchor your hands so it's all covered in the education for you and that's all available and accessible to you if you decide to go for the box today mm. so we flick in the first color and then we just give that a little bit more intensity with the second color on this marker flicking into the center yeah so that's the first layer just there and what I do do is elongate the strokes. So there are some short strokes and some longer strokes. And that's what makes that fading look more natural. Mm. And then we turn that round because now we're going to do it with the next colour in the opposite direction. Um, so we're going to be using our AB1. The right one, Leanne. Here it is. AB1 and uh, AB2, I believe it is. Let me just check my notes. AB1 and AB05. Oh. So I'm using AB1 and I'm going to do exactly what I've just done there, but I'm flicking up into the centre. And, and just um, a few people asking about the stamps and the duo markers. So the duo markers and the stamps are exclusive to the Academy of Colour, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Um, and as far as the colours are concerned, the, the, they're not new colours, are they? No. Okay. Just to clarify that, a few people have been asking. Yeah. They do exist. So what is different is the um, the configuration of the two colours yes. in the pen. And the most important thing is actually, Ben, the fact that the colours have been curated for you to be able to copy exactly what I'm doing yes. with you on the education at home. It's the uh, curation of the, the colours and the technique and the stamps so that everything comes together and works as one, yeah. um, which makes it the experience that you're having with Academy of Colour the most positive and that's what everybody's loving the most because you've got the exact stamps the exact pens yeah. to do exactly what i've got rather than try and cobbling it together from home so you can measure your success 
by seeing exactly the result I've shown you. Exactly right. And if you've achieved exactly, if you see what I mean. Yes. Not sure if I explained that very well. No, you did. Um, but I know what I mean. Perfectly. Thank you, Ben. So once I've done that, I now need to join the two colours in the middle. And so to join the two colours in the middle, I'm going... Can you remember the pen we talked about? Um, the pen with no colour. Oh, the, yes. The, the but it has got colour. But everybody thought we had an empty yeah, pen. Yeah. We're going to use the empty pen. It's not really. It's not the empty pen. I'm being very <laughs> tongue-in-cheek Shall forever be known as. Um, and pen. now we're going... To, and you can see it is very, very, very pale. And so what that's going to do is in this stark white in the centre here, between where the, the violet and the turquoise comes up, this looks like stark white. doesn't look like it's joining in a lovely yeah. iridescent organza way. To make it look like that lovely iridescent organza, what you do now between where you've preserved your highlight with this marker is you do the flicks up and down across both colours. And what that does is smooth the blend of the blue and the lilac into uh, each other. Yes. Takes away the harsh lines and takes away the harsh white. And then what that ends up feeling like is you've got that lovely transition of organza in between the two. So it's a subtle hint of colour, mm. but that's so it doesn't overwhelm all the other colour, which is really important. Now, if you want to intensify that a little bit, if you want it to be a little bit of a darker skirt, oh, wow. you can... We just go and do the same thing again. So I'll show you how we do that. So we'll keep that as it is. You would be better to let it dry for a little while, but I'll show you. So we've got now a little bit of a darker purple and I'm just going to flick in. And again, I'm elongating my strokes. And the best thing with this is to build up the layers. Less is more. Don't go full in with the, all of the dark color immediately. Just put in a little bit. See you know, what you think, how you're feeling about it and then stop. And then I go to the middle colour and I flick to join that. And I'm elongating. So you see what I'm actually doing is elongating all the way down occasionally, not all the time, yeah. into the turquoise. That's what gets it to feel like that authentic iridescent organza where the colours are all moving in with each other. Stop when you get to that point and then with the lightest, just a couple more. Okay, so that starts to join there. And then you would do the same with the blue in the opposite direction. But this time what you're going to do is just take your uh, deeper turquoise and you're going to pop a little bit under here in the folds. So rather than doing the flicking, you're going in the underneath of the dress where there would be shadow. And by popping in those little darker pieces, you can even go a little bit darker if you like. Yeah. That then starts to definitely feel like there's movement in that dress. Yeah. And that's just by adding in the little darker pieces underneath those folds. It already now feels like it's got that yeah, dancey floor it's to so it. Yeah, um, If you want to put the odd little flick in, you know, where there's a little bit of shadow, you can, but you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. And then you can just blend that in. I'll only do it in a couple of areas so you can see how that would make a difference to those folds. You can just keep it with the flicky action. So if you want to do that, we would just flick back exactly as we did before. Flick away from yourself. Some areas to overlap the purple. And then to join everything in the middle to get that organza look, the very light hint of a colour. And by doing that, you get that lovely organza look. So it looks like you've got the transition between the different colours. So that's one of the reasons why we've got one of those very, very subtle pens in there. And then when you've done that and you've coloured in the little mouse, depending on how intense you wanted to do the skirt, yeah. it turns into a completely different image. Um, and then when you make that into a little card, look, some little shaky glitters oh, in there. Cute. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? That's lovely. so good. Yeah. Um, lots of love for that little uh, technique there. Lots of love for the um, the pen with nothing in it as well. Uh, <laughs> Shotty just saying that's ah, so that is what that pen is for. <laughs> um, and Ty Vixen just saying, I mean, oh, I guess how how long is a um, how long is a piece of string? Um, Ty Vixen says, how many techniques are there for the brush pens? How many different techniques? What a question that is. How many different techniques for the brush markers? Yeah. Um, we've yeah we've done full shows on techniques before. Yeah. I mean I don't think you can count them. I think I think you find new techniques all the time yeah. when you start playing with things. 
I think, you know, I'm probably going to have shown you, and please don't hold me to this, in excess of 15 techniques. Right, yeah. Just with alcohol, and probably the same with um, aqua, by the yeah. time we get to the end of the Academy of Colour. But I think it's infinite, because mm. there's so many different ways of using them, and you'll find new ways all the time, different ways of combining them with other products. Don't let that intimidate you, though, because you don't have to discover everything in the first two weeks. Yeah. We're on a journey together, the Academy of Colour. We're starting at the beginning and we're holding hands and going through the whole thing together. And at the end, what you'll have is a really good set of tools at your fingertips for you to just have a lovely experience, but give you the confidence to go on and do some exploration yourself and find your own techniques. I think that's what Academy of Colour is doing for everybody. Yeah, absolutely right. And, you know, as much as, you know, Leanne's here and the rest of the team here to show you all the different techniques, you know, who's to say that you won't find a different technique and you won't use the pens a little bit differently. So, yeah, good to hear that. Uh, lots of love for that last little technique. Rosalind saying that is beautiful. And Coletta Cooper saying, I love that transitioning between those two colours. Um, so much fun for Organza. Uh, and Patricia says, glued to the computer screen, uh, watching Leanne's every move. It is mesmerising. I think it's been one of those shows, hasn't it? You guys have absolutely loved it. And w whenever Leanne is here in the studio, um, we do end up being mesmerised by all of the techniques and you know, mind blown by so many of the, uh, the hints and tips that she offers as well. So it's been lovely to have her in. Um, we've got about 15 minutes left. So uh, last chance, last chance, uh, last orders at the bar, please, for any questions. Uh, fire those in um, and we'll uh, tackle those over the course of the last 15 minutes. And we'll delve one final time into the box for you as well. For those of you that perhaps haven't seen the full content, and um, we'll have a good look through that with Leanne as well. But just to kind of give you fair warning on the showstopper deal, 70% now of the showstopper deal has gone uh, as a potential that this could sell out uh, before the end of the day today so definitely worth getting into your basket now um, rather than waiting until later on because we've only got um, a small amount of this obviously lots of the box available so if you want to go for the academy of color on its own individually uh, th there's not a particular rush on that because there is still plenty of stock of that available but if you want to go for the sort of uh, the benny bonus the showstopper deal, uh, then you need to sort of get your skates on just a little bit with that because we're giving you that brand new Academy of Colour, which we'll look through in more detail in just a few moments' time. But then you get all of the other product along with it as well. And it's premium products as well. I think it really is worth just hammering that home. You know, we haven't just thrown a showstopper deal together with a few things that we found at the back of the warehouse. We're giving you one of our um, very, very popular discovery kits. You're getting the watercolour discovery kit within this bundle. You're getting our premium aqua markers included as well in the primary colours there in the bundle. You're also going to be getting our premium watercolour cardstock included within the bundle too and also you're getting a set of our um, bitter brush pens, the soft pastels. So all premium product that you're getting within this, all product that is going to work absolutely perfectly together and you should be paying an extra £52 there or thereabouts or $77 for all the extras but we're going hang on a minute, we don't want you to pay that. Why don't you pay us just over £20, just over $20, and you can have all of that with the Academy of Colour for £55 or $65. If you're platinum, you still get your discount of 20% on top of that. So that's £44 or $52. So it's an incredible buy tonight. And also, again, just worth reiterating, um, I always mention it more on weeks like this when we kind of you know, start a new year, new year, new craft, and there's lots of new people watching. If you are new to us, if you're watching this show for the first time, you think, oh, I quite like the look of that. Don't pay this price here. Make sure you end up paying this price here. You say, how do I do that? Go to the website, click on the Club Inspire logo. All right, you'll see it at the top of the website. You literally sign up with your name, your email address, you create a password, you're in, and it's free, which is the brilliant thing. I know a lot of you will have perhaps been in uh, you know, these sort of uh, clubs before where you have to pay like an annual fee. You don't with us. It's free to join the club. Sign up today. You'll get 20% off your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to get you started within Club Inspire, which means every purchase after that, you'll be saving um, 5%. And the more you shop with us for every pound or dollar you spend, you get a point. The more points you get, the more you save and it's such a great club to be part of. You can read more about it on the website, but definitely sign up today if you're not yet a part of Club Inspire uh, to get 20% off your first order. Uh, Patricia just says, 
Uh, Leanne, I work with kindergartners who love blending with simple crayons after I showed them how to do that. Uh, wait till I show them your flicking techniques and the difference between flicking away from and towards you. They're like little sponges that soak up everything and they love learning new unusual things uh, like what you teach at Crafters TV. Isn't that nice as well that people Isn't are taking it? on your hints and tips and techniques and teaching other people with them too? I absolutely love it. It's exponential, isn't it? Yeah. It just keeps growing and growing and I, I absolutely love that. It just gives you ideas or inspiration or creativity or confidence to go forward and do that. And I think Academy of Colour is doing that for so, so many of you. It's more than I could have ever hoped or expected. I thought we'd sell a few, a few, <laughs> you'd have, a few of you would have a nice time doing some colouring and that would be it. It's turned into this huge community, which is fantastic, really. Uh, we were nominated, nominated for an award, award and we got highly commended. Yes, yeah, the Academy of Colour, which is um, just amazing, really. Um, we are going to have one final look at the box, but let's have a quick look at Michelle's pictures that she sent in early on. How gorgeous are these? Very lovely, Michelle. Well done. An excellent start on your hair, I have to say, and yeah. some skin shading there. You're really working hard on the light and shade at the beginning of the face and getting some movement, and I can see that. Well done. Yeah. Fantastic, Michelle, and thank you for sending in your pictures. And thank you to everyone who sent in their uh, their pictures today as well. And like we said, if you um, are thinking about joining up with the Academy of Colour, thinking about picking this up, or maybe you already uh, bought the Academy of Colours and you've not yet joined the Facebook group, do, do search for it, because as Leanne said, thousands of people are already within that club, and you can share ideas, and you can share love for each and uh, everybody's product, uh, projects in there too. And it's just a lovely community, uh, community to be a part of. Um, in the last sort of five or six minutes or so, should we have one? final delve into this box in case yes. you haven't seen it so um box number four, four. yes what are we going to be getting there so you obviously get the box itself and it is beautiful it feels like quality when you when you when this arrives home you can, you know that you're getting a quality product by yeah. the box that we've put it in it's got this it tells you there that your coloring journey continues and it's got that fabulous Oof. magnetic oh Oof. That fantastic, mag that was nearly a fagnetic. Fagnetic, yeah. Which is fantastic and magnetic, magnetic. all in one. It's a fagnetic closure. <laughs> That's what that is, guys. Um, and then when you open your box in here, you will have your little um, card. Don't. Um, throw that away keep it because on the reverse of there that's your instruction and your qr code to get to the education website yeah keep that stuck on the top of your box in here you'll get your markers and a lovely velvet lined tray mm. so you've got your six alcohol and your three aqua so 12 colors here and six colors here remove that tray and underneath is where we've got stored the stamp plate that comes and you've got seven characters on there Cute. and then some sentiments too and then you also get the panel cute characters to store your stamps on which then work in your binder yes you see there's the list of everything that you're going on in the journey seven in total the main box and six more space for all of them in there so you would keep that in your binder if you got the first one and then underneath there you've got your watercolor card and you've got your alcohol card in there as well so you've got all of your card and that's all got a nice little place to nestle also velvet lined everything's got a place to live so if you wanted to keep it in your box forever you can do that because it's of the quality which you would allow you to do so so pop that away pop your pens back in and that's what you get now just to show you those things in more detail yeah these are your markers that we've just been looking at they're the colors of your markers alcohol and your aqua and they've been picked specifically for the techniques that I want to show you. So, for example, your light half colour pens there, where you it's just a very hint of a colour. We've just looked. That was for a reason, to make that skirt look and feel like organza. Yeah. So you understand how to use your very light colours. Uh, you've got your stamps. And if I just show you them all coloured in. So they're the stamps we've just looked at. They're what they look like when they're coloured in. So you see how those characters come to life. You've got the organza in the skirt. You've got the ombre in the leaves. You've got the movement in the folds of fabric. You've got the texture on the bunnies, the light and shade. You've got lots and lots of techniques that you've already learned, but it consolidates them and shows you how to apply them to that cute character. And then you've got your watercolour card and you've got your alcohol card in there. Now, it's supported. The entire programme is supported by education, Ben. Yeah. 
and you will get two hours of education with this box dedicated to the techniques with these cute characters and that will be going live on the 25th of January so if you're in the UK usually you watch it pre-recorded because we've already done the session for the uh, our colleagues our friends in the US because they get the box a little bit sooner uh, but this time because of Christmas and work commitments and some illness and lots of other things we're doing it and also the box I think got delayed because of the terrible shipping yeah so like all of the planets collided for us not to be able to do it before Christmas we're going to be doing it on the 25th of January which means for you in the UK if you're buying it today you get to join in live on this one um, and so if you're buying the box you can join in with a live education follow the link in the box watch the time 6 p.m. Uh, GMT is when it goes live and then you'll be able to watch along with us so we look forward to seeing you there with us this is the kind of thing that we cover so each of the characters will have a technique and we'll cover that technique um, maybe not color the whole image but focus on teaching you the technique especially if part of it is something we've covered before yeah. so for example with this little mouse we've covered smooth blends many times across with alcohol markers so we'll just say smooth blend the face let me show you the technique on the skirt yeah and we'll go through it however what i do make sure is that even though we're only focusing on part of the technique you've got the breakdown and the colors for every part of that um, and we tell you where to apply the color and how to achieve it and then we break it all down in words for you underneath this is all put in the facebook group for you um, and there's that dotty technique that we Such just did with cool the bunnies here's the technique that we first did where we looked at the um, <clears throat> light and shade on the dress the ombre and the leaves and the folds and the fabric We'll, we'll look at this little mouse here and how to get that real depth of shade so the umbrella feels like it's folded over mm. his ear. We'll look at how to do backgrounds and grounding of images, which is what we've done here. So it looks like there's a light behind the bunny. We'll look at how to do that. We're going to look at how to get that lovely rounded shape and how to colour your detailed stamps. We'll look at how to do the flicking for fur. We've done the dotting for fur on the bunnies, how we do the flicking for fur on this little cat here. We're going to look at how to smooth blend the bunnies with watercolour. We've got the watercolour technique here with this little mouse where we can mix new colours for light and shade. Watercolour technique for the little mouse um, with the cupcake there and how to get the lovely swirls on the cupcake. We've got watercolour on the little cat. We've got the uh, ballerina mouse with watercolour so you can see how you can get that lovely movement in her dress but with watercolour this time. We've got the little fairy again, how to watercolour and get some realistic skin and hair tone movement in her dress. We've got that, we love that orange cat, didn't we, earlier oh, yeah, in the watercolour session. Cute. We're going to look at how to make him feel lovely and rotund. So all of those, <laughs> rotund, I know how he feels after Christmas, <laughs> honestly. Um, so all of those are going to be included and all of those resources are going to be there for you to click on when you want to use them. So that's not only in the education that we do, it's also in the Facebook group as well. Mm. And they're all there ready for you to access, Ben. If you do join with... Um, the cute characters and you buy that box today you will be able to see all of the past education that's happened for all of the others um, and so you're going to have access to I think it's something like 13 hours that it's already there for yeah. you um, in terms of education which is phenomenal isn't it just a huge resource I think the amount of time that we spend on the education the uh, quality of it and everything we do to support you that in itself has a higher value than the box contents yeah. Ben, it would be more expensive to buy, but it's completely free of charge and there's been no hiding of that cost in the box because the quality of the contents you've got there, you can see that. So we haven't hidden the cost of the education in the box. We're 100% giving it you for free of mm. charge because actually we want to, I hate the word, but I'm going to use it, empower you, mm. give you the tools that you need to take forward the... The products that you've bought or the products that you've got at home because the education translates to all of the other markers you've been collecting not just the ones you're getting in this box and it rejuvenates that for you gives you the confidence to go and pick up those pens you bought three years ago and you've done nothing with and then to use them and be really proud and pleased with what you've achieved i think what academy color gives everybody is the confidence to have a go yeah and if all we give you is the confidence to have a go then that is enough because it's that fear of failure that stops us sometimes in our creativity and we take away that fear give you the tools and techniques and then leave you to be very proud with what you've achieved as you've seen from the lovely pictures we've had shared from the ladies today 
Yeah, absolutely right. And actually, if you want to see more uh, pictures and more ideas, uh, Susie, who's been on the social tonight, has shared the link again to the Academy of Colour Group on Facebook, so you can click on that and join up. And I think, you know what, I mean, what a brilliant way to end the show. And, and that really, for me, just, again, highlights how good the Academy of Colour is. And I always say, you know, one of the reasons I'm proud to work here is because, you know, we, can, we bring you these amazing products. But day in, day out, we never kind of send you away and go, off you go, best of luck. We always bring you the shows. We always bring you launch days and masterclasses and craft long so you've got so much content to be able to delve into. You're never kind of going home scratching your head going, oh, how do I use these? What do I do? I need some inspiration. And I think that which we bring you day to day is kind of multiplied many times over when it comes to uh, the Academy of Colour as well. And you just can't put a price on the content that you get alongside the premium product that you're going to be getting in each and every one of the boxes. And worth bearing in mind too, uh, I have had a look on the website. If you are kind of quite new to all of this and you're kind of experiencing the Academy of Colour for the first time today, you think, oh, actually, I'm going to get the, the, the new box, but I want to go back and get the sort of um, the, the, the previous boxes. Uh, I can see they are all available for you um, on the the website right now I don't know how we are stock wise but worth if you're thinking about you know going right back to the start you can do um, all of the other boxes are still available for you so it might be worth just having a bit of a peruse uh, whilst you're on the website uh, checking out all of the deals and um, checking out the sale that we've got there as well that 23% sale uh, which is marvelous well what a day it's been seriously thank you so much to everyone uh, who has uh, been watching today I know we've got another fantastic day lined up tomorrow uh, Craig's in tomorrow uh, I believe. Uh, and Jan's going to be here as well with another day of uh, New Year, New Craft. Um, um, yes, Craig is here. Jan over there. Uh, brand new showstopper tomorrow. Um, and Leanne will be back with me. We're back together Thursday. on Thursday, aren't we? Card we are. making. We've got a full day. Mm. We've got, we've got some great stuff coming up on Thursday on our card making yeah. day, Ben. I think we want to get you involved as well. Yes. I'm always up for a bit of crafting. Can I just say um, what a joy it's been today, Leanne. Always a joy. And um, I've had a lovely day. And I'm so pleased we're back together on Thursday. I'm really looking forward to it. We need to do this more, Ben. We, we need do. need to put a request in. Thank um, you. I've had a, such a fabulous day. It's a joy working with you, as always. Oh, thank you. How lovely has it been, everyone, to have Leanne back in the uh, Crafters TV series? It's been such a great day. Massive thank you to Leanne for all of the uh, hints, tips and inspiration. Huge thank you as well to Susie on the socials today and also to Rachel. Uh, massive thank you to Craig and Debbie who've been in today as well. It's been a busy day. Tracy working very hard behind the scenes and as always steering the good ship craft today uh, producer Johnny and George of the Joystick. Um, if you've got items in your basket make sure you get them checked out. I'll be back with you with Leanne on Thursday but make sure you join Craig and Jan tomorrow for another fun packed day here at Crafters TV. Another day of new year new craft. Until then check out those baskets enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and we will both see you on Thursday. Bye for now.